Okay, so let's say that you've uh, already gotten all your settings set to exactly what you want, right? Everything looks good for you. Now, back, you go back to the home screen, and the home screen is this little button right here. That's your home screen button, all right? Come back here, and I'm going to go to project. The whole goal behind this is to, let me delete this, is to keep, it, keep this as simply as possible and keep all of your projects in one place, keep everything organized. Let me go through this one by one. First thing, if you want to import a project, the easiest way to do it is to use uh, Profus Layout Office. It's a software Hilti makes that I love. Uh, you can literally go in there, do everything you need for your drawing, for your points, and then literally import it in one click. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, go to this import button, and I'm going to go to my um, my. D drive, if you have anything on the C drive or on the docs and within that C drive, you can use that as well. For me, I have this uh, D drive and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up my HPL 30 file, right? Because I'm looking for an HPL 30 file. This is the drop down. This is how you import only a project in one click. So I'm going to say I want to import that project. I say check and literally I'm done. I imported it and I can go in here and I'm going to go quick clear so you see what it looks like. but. I'll go ahead and say draw, and here it all is. Nice project, right? But I could also do this. I can go over here and I can say uh, new job. So that's the that's the uh, easy way to do it, right? That one button. But now I'm going to show you the slow way to do it. I'm going to say I want to make a new project. I'll call this demo2. Demo2. I'll say enter. Oops, where'd it go? Demo2. All right, and here it is. It's telling me when uh, uh, I made it at the time. I'm gonna say, uh, yep, that's the job I wanna use. And I'm gonna come up here and you're gonna see it's gonna have my jobs now. This is the job screen. So what I can do here is I can say floor one, floor two, floor three, floor four. As long as their CADs all line up, right? As long as they're on the same coordinate system, this is a great way to do it. So now I'm here, I'm gonna say I'm gonna add a drawing. I'm gonna say I'm gonna import it. And I'm importing it from my D drive, and here it is, that demo drawing. Right? And look, it's only looking for whatever I tell it to look for. And these are the only options that you have to look for. You can't do, you can, I know there's people that can convert a PDF to a DWG, but the tablet reads a DWG or a DXF. Um, I've had sometimes I get a drawing that I'm like, hey, I need the DWG. They give me the PDF because they're expecting me to print it out, but I have to go back and say, no, I need the DWG, the actual digital CAD. So I'm having a search for the DWG. Here it is, say check. I'm gonna make sure that I import it as whatever the units it was drawn in. And you should generally know what it is for the area you are. I know for me, it's almost always inches. Uh, if you're in Canada, millimeters, outside of US, millimeters. But for me, I use inches. I'm gonna say check. It was imported. And here it is, right? So I can now say check. And I can now go into my draw, and now I can go ahead and uh, play, uh, you know, do things with my drawing and uh, and start editing it. But that's all it was, right? Add a drawing, name it, and uh, make sure you go into it. Now I could do more here. So if, see right here, I have these uh, settings here. If you have a point file that you want to add to it, so if I have a control point for the entire project, every single file in that project, if I have control points for them. I can come right here and click add a control point, import control points, and it's going to bring up your D drive with all of your point, all of your CSV or TXT files on there, right? This is the point files that it's going to look for. And I have some on here I'll show you. So let's say that this CSV file, I'm actually not quite sure where these are going to fall, but I'll use them. So here's the CSV file. Let's pretend that these are my control points. I make sure that uh, I import it with the correct units. I know that this CSV file was a US feet unit, and I know that the coordinates are organized northern eastern height, and I know that the delimiter is a, in this case, it's a semicolon. Um, there's a video I have on Hilti field points for AutoCAD that goes through how to use a CSV so you can understand this a little bit better. I'm gonna say check. It's gonna pull up all my points. I'm gonna say select all, and I'm gonna say import. All right, so now I got six control points. I'm going to say check. 
And if I say check again, I'm gonna to go to draw, and you'll see that they're all gonna, they're all right here. One, two, three, four. They're all there, okay? Now I'm gonna go back out real quick, and I'm gonna to go to project, open it up again, and now I'm on the jobs, right? Because remember, your project is the main project for every single job on there. I'm gonna say check, and now I have all of my jobs. I could literally add a bunch of jobs, like floor one, I can add floor two, right? I can just keep adding jobs, but I don't need them. I'm gonna delete these real quick, delete. And I'm gonna delete this one, right? But all those control points are gonna be the same for each one of those jobs. But now, let's say that I have layout points specific to this job only, this one floor. I can go layout points, import, for my D drive. Let's say I wanna lay out uh, these points here, whatever offset, that's fine. I'm gonna say check. Again, I know that they're feet. NEH is the coordinates, north and eastern height. My delimiter, say check. Select all. I don't need these two because those are always in there as my controls. Say check. Say check. Go to draw. And now you, these circles you see up here, those represent my layout points, right? So you might have layout points all scattered throughout here, but this is what they represent. Pretty easy to use. So I hope that helps understanding how to import projects. You can do it by a click of a button right here. Or if you don't have a Hilti project file, you cannot use this button. You have to use this add project button. And uh, if you need to edit it, press this. If you want to copy it, press this. If you want to delete it, press this.